In 2000, the first full sequence of the human genome was announced, ushering in the era of personalized medicine. There have been important genomic advances since then, but the biology of cancer is complex, and some women with breast cancer need more definitive information about which treatment options are best for them. Specifically, which women can effectively be treated with hormone therapy alone following surgery to prevent a recurrence, thus sparing them the well-known side effects of chemotherapy. Is there a way to identify those who will truly benefit from chemotherapy together with hormone therapy? With these patients in mind, the ECOG Akron Cancer Research Group initiated a clinical trial called Taylor X with funding from the National Cancer Institute. Taylor X is the largest ever breast cancer treatment trial. It was designed to more precisely define the effect of chemotherapy, if any, for women considered to be at intermediate risk for recurrence based on their Oncotype DX breast recurrence score result. In 2004, the National Surgical Adjuvant Breast and Bowel Project, or NSABP, presented a landmark study showing that Oncotype DX breast recurrence score results could predict whether or not chemotherapy would benefit many women with early stage breast cancer. The data from this trial showed little or no benefit of chemotherapy when recurrence score results are low and clear benefit for patients when the recurrence score is high. But the effect of chemotherapy to prevent recurrence was a major unanswered question for women with mid-range recurrence score results of 11 to 25. The landmark Taylor X trial aimed to find an answer to this important question that affects many women. Approximately 260,000 women diagnosed with breast cancer each year worldwide fall within the mid-range. From 2006 to 2010, thousands of oncologists and surgeons working within the six cancer research groups in the NCI's National Clinical Trials Network enrolled over 10,000 women to participate in the trial throughout the United States and in select trial sites in five additional countries. Leading breast cancer advocacy organizations provided support for Taylor X. The primary group in Taylor X, 6,711 patients with a mid-range recurrence score result of 11 to 25, were randomized to receive hormonal therapy with or without chemotherapy. They were followed for nine years on average. Based on previous studies and clinical guidelines, Women in Taylor X with the Oncotype DX breast recurrence score results of 0 to 10 with no anticipated benefit from chemotherapy were treated with hormonal therapy alone. Women in Taylor X with recurrence score results of 26 to 100, known to have a clear and large benefit from chemotherapy, were treated with chemotherapy plus hormonal therapy. Large randomized clinical trials are the gold standard in clinical evidence. Taylor X began to generate unprecedented results in 2015 when ECOG Akron reported that more than 99% of the 1,626 women with low Oncotype DX breast recurrence score results were still breast cancer free after five years of hormone therapy alone. This finding definitively demonstrates that women with a recurrence score result of 0 to 10 can effectively forego chemotherapy treatment and its side effects. On June 3, 2018, the highly anticipated Taylor X results were presented at the annual ASCO meeting plenary session and published in the New England Journal of Medicine. The study answered the critical question about the effect of chemotherapy in all women with hormone receptor positive, HER2 negative, node negative breast cancer, as defined by the Oncotype DX breast recurrence score results. The trial found that 70% of all women with early stage breast cancer can forego chemotherapy, and up to 30% of women will benefit from chemotherapy when guided by the Oncotype DX breast recurrence score tests. These landmark prospective trial results are practice changing, transforming and improving breast cancer care and outcomes for the hundreds of thousands of women diagnosed with early stage breast cancer each year. Go to taylorx.com to learn more about this study.